now it's time to install the frets in our fingerboard for our cell modicum. So you'll want to grab your fingerboard and your fret wire and you'll need a wire cutter and a hammer. And you're also going to want to make sure you've got a nice um, solid work table here. It, it really doesn't work if your table has give in it. it just bounces the fret wire out and, and loosens the fret wire in the hole. So nice solid work table. So you're just going to take your fret wire and you're going to put one edge of it like this and there's a little tang here that goes in the slot and just tap it gently like that and take your wire cutter and clip it as close to the edge as you can. Um, if you find it hard to work with a big piece, it's you can cut it in half like this, make it a little bit easier to work with. Um, it doesn't take much work with the hammer, pretty light tapping. This metal's real soft, so if you hit it too hard, uh, you'll dent it. But you want to be firm enough to seat the frets completely in the fingerboard. If you have a fret that's sticking up a little bit, well then that fret might buzz, or the string might buzz on that fret when you're playing the instrument. So firm but not too firm. I guess you're looking for that middle way, that elusive middle way. Uh, by the time you're done, you'll probably get the hang of it. So you'll just do this with all the frets. I've got all my frets in now, and uh, if you run your finger along the side of the fingerboard, you'll notice there's some sharp edges, and we want to sand those smooth um, because we don't want to drag our finger across that and cut ourselves. So the best way to do that is to use a belt sander. So we'll go in the back and I'll show you how to do that. So this is our uh, big uh, belt sander here and this is one way to do it and I'll show you this. You just put this on, hold this up on the edge like this. Now I also want to put a slight bevel on this. So I'm going to I'm going to put this on an angle on the edge sander as well. And that'll give a nice little bevel and sand them all flush. This is another common uh, type of belt sander you'll find in a home shop. Lots of folks have these. They're pretty inexpensive. Um, and both of these belt sanders, what they both have are belts that travel in only one direction. And we want to avoid anything that's going back and forth because it'll tend to make these frets wobble around and, and get loose in the slot and then they, they can be loose in the instrument. So um, something like this works really well too. It's not as fast as the one I just showed you, but it, it certainly gets the job done. Um, we can start by sanding them flush. And then again, we can put a little bevel, just like that. So if you don't have a belt sander, talk to your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers. Somebody's got one. They'll be happy to let you use it. Good luck.